How are we doing, everyone? Welcome to today's stream. Bit addictive, isn't it? <laughs> Although, I had to go out last night, so I didn't get to play it much. Um, so, I did a tiny bit, 20 minutes, maybe, uh, since the last stream yesterday. So, I thought I'd play it now and uh, do a bit more. I've already set a route up. So we're starting off in Paris again, but uh, we're going to run down to Geneva. So I will show you that in a second. Who's in the chat? Uh, good morning to Randy Rabbit. How are you doing? CGD. Lonster, how are you doing? Mr. Water. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, right, let's get on with it. Uh, actually, let's have a look at my progress first. You guys are probably way ahead of me. Um, but I am professional level already, three out of four. Uh, 66% towards my next level. Uh, so my radius is 450. Does that, I, th I think that starts at 350, doesn't it? So I've moved a little bit. Uh, got express check-in, the man's alliance coach C, and also the ability to do night routes. But Flixbus routes are locked. Now, one of you guys can tell me, does that mean there's a, a full timetable of real Flixbus routes that suddenly become available? Because I know there is a tab for Flixbus routes, uh, but I wasn't sure actually on that. Uh, but if you don't know, we'll uh, we'll find out eventually. Uh, let's just jump in. Farah, how you doing? Right. So, yeah, see, there's a Flixbus tab right here. You've got free play, shuttle, and Flixbus. We're going to keep it in Flixbus. There is a locked tab there, as you can see, along the top. Um, anyway, this is the uh, this is what we're doing today. I uh, hope you can see that map. Okay, we're going down from Paris. I was going to call in at Dijon, but if I do that, I have to go into Dijon and I have to go back out again. So I wanted to do more of a, a direct run. So um, let me interact with the map, then I can zoom in. So yeah, coming down from Paris, it's a decent run. Then we are coming down and we are calling in at Lyon along the way, ending up right on the edge of my sort of available area there uh, in Geneva. Now, I did wonder, as you can see, this is right on the edge, this bit. And I thought, does it let you travel through any of it that's greyed out? And it obviously does. Or if it doesn't, we'll find out. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So that's what we're doing. Uh, so I'm going to pick that top one. Not like that. I don't want to do that. Let's stop interacting with the map. Right, so I want to do that and select it. And then I want to go to next. Uh, realistic control scheme. Um, Randy, you've unlocked it all. Level 4. No roots appear. It's just an empty tab. Oh, is it? Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, Mr. What are you playing it on both consoles, aren't you? Yeah, forgot about that. Uh, okie doke uh, so here we are I think you know I'm going to go with this one I'm going to go with this man lions coach second gen I think today uh, shall we uh, shall we change that's a good one let's have a look at that we're in France we've seen all these before haven't we in uh, tourist bus let's have a quick look I think I'm going to go for the snow one yeah I'm going to go back up I'm going to go for the snow quite like that one yeah let's go for this uh, I'm not going to change the reg plate. I'm not going to bother. So let's do that. Then control mode, realistic, the date. You can do the system date, can't you? This is the system date. 1st of March. There we go. We'll leave it at 10 o'clock. We'll leave the weather on dynamic, I think, for this. Right. Let's give it a go. Launch, do you find in Korea a bit confusing? Not sure what the point is, other than expanding the map. Yeah, just keep just keep watching. You'll pick it up. You do keep expanding the map as you go. Uh, your available area that you've got in that circle gets wider and wider. So, um, yeah, from from uh, yeah, as Mister Water says, from from level four you can start from any depot. Okay, that's good. Okay, yeah, and uh, Randy says the same thing. All right, let's get going. Uh, 
let's get the doors closed. I won't put all this stuff on yet. I will put that on though. So that everybody knows what we're doing. Uh, we will need some windscreen wipers once we start. Aircon, of course. Let's get that on. Oh, I can't do that till the engine's gone. Let me do the engine first. That'll, that'd help, wouldn't it? There we go. I'll leave it in neutral for now. Windscreen wipers are on. Aircon, let's pump that up. About 22, I think. How you doing, Patrick? You alright? Sean, any patch yet? Uh, actually, after yesterday's after yesterday's um, live stream, where I wasn't very sure whether I had the uh, the latest patch or not, I actually do. Uh, me and Mr. Water kind of worked it out that the the number that you see put it in drive, boy. The number that you see um, on the splash screen at the beginning is not the patch uh, version. Um, if you go in, into the tile itself on the PlayStation, if you're on the PlayStation, and just look at more information, it gives you the patch. And I am on patch uh, 0004, I think it is, which is sounds like it's the latest one. So I did have the day one patch yesterday. Right, coming out of the depot. This car to go. Be off. Okie dokie. So, as you were saying, Mr. Water, you can turn off the uh, starting from the depot. If in the uh, selection screen there, where we just changed the livery of the bus, if in that screen you uh, go to the customization, you can, you can turn that off. If you go to the customize controls, so I did that yesterday, um, but then, oh we're on green aren't we? I had a bit of a problem though, where the uh, the GPS didn't, the, the orange line didn't come up on the map at all, for some reason. Now there must have been a selection in that customizable list that I didn't press, but anyway, I had a, I had a nice uh, long run yesterday, without using the orange line, I was just navigating by the map, which was bit more challenging but I managed to do it. So I thought I'd just go back to the uh, the realistic controls today just on the roll. So we're going to Geneva. It's typically snowy down there isn't it? Oh see that then? See that? See the transition in the weather? And there again, that's weird. I think we talked about that yesterday as well. Uh, but yeah, if we get to Geneva, I'm hoping it's snowing. What's all this black on the floor? Look at this black. At least on PlayStation, you don't get the Inception book. Which one's that? CGD. Yeah, Randy, the bus sim announcement, I did see that, the next-gen version, yeah, that'd be good. I need to play a bit more of that, I've not played a lot of that. Like many of you said, you're all telling me it was a little bit cartoony, bus sim 21. And I jumped in and I thought it was alright, but I kind of agreed with you, and I, did, I didn't really get into the career mode. Add three stops to this route, cover this area, blah blah blah. I Again, it's like we were saying yesterday with tourist bus. That aspect of it. It doesn't, it doesn't float my boat that I like to just drive like this game uh, but I will get into it hey Sophie how you doing welcome in Derek how you doing uh, you did a run Derek from Amsterdam to Brussels good run yeah there's loads of places to discover isn't there loads of places Uh, just for those that are coming in, we're in Paris, we're leaving Paris, we are coming south down to Lyon, uh, and then we reach the edge of my available map there, so then we're going up to Geneva, which is where we're going to stop today, it's a decent run though. Oh, it's a lighting texture glitch, okay. 
so that hopefully will get fixed. Oh, buildings appearing in the middle of the roads. Yes, actually, uh, that I have had that because on the brief 20 minutes I said I was doing last night, I was leaving Paris. I took a screenshot. I actually, took two screenshots. I was on my way to um, Luxembourg, I think it was. Uh, and I was expecting to, I was driving down, I was expecting to get to one of these toll roads with the barriers. And there was a building there and all the AI were crashing into the building. I think that's what you mean. And I definitely did get that. And I took uh, a screenshot of the map so that I could tell them on the Discord where that actually was. I didn't realize that was a common thing. I thought it was just in that, um, I thought it was just in that one area. So that's interesting. And it's coming in a patch. Okay, good, 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 good. That's what we like. Yep, yeah, hoping the patches come soon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you don't use dynamic weather. I, yeah, I get you. I get you. I think you can change it, can't you? Can you change it in here? No, I don't want to do that. I think up here at the top you can change it. There you go. Shall I change it? Right, there we go. Back, there's the final rain drips look going down the screen. Let me turn this off. We're in the sunlight. Let's have a look at France in the sunlight. Get your croissants ready. Ah, oh, some last minute rejigging of the map. Okay, so it had a knock on effect. That's a shame. Yeah, there was one long straight road. Um, I, I'd just come through six or seven roundabouts and tried to, as I said, I didn't have the orange line. So I was having to navigate with the map just on its own. And uh, got through six or seven roundabouts and I saw a straight road going towards Luxembourg. Actually, I think it was Reims I was going to first. Reims, then Luxembourg. I probably pronounced Reims completely wrong, so I'm sorry about that. You should know me by now. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I was doing that, and... I thought, oh, one long straight road. Tried it, no chance. Straight into a building. So I had to reverse. I find another way around. So that was a bit annoying. Hey Lucas, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Isn't it great though when there's just um, you know when a new game comes out and there's a bus. We got that with tourist bus. We've got that with a few other things as well, but like the bus is back for this one on console. And it's every time somebody brings something out that doesn't really exist on console beforehand. People are dead excited to play it. I think yesterday, just on yesterday's live stream, I think we got we got a couple of hundred comments uh, after the live stream on that video, which is quite good, isn't it? So everybody's really interested in this, and I know we're all finding these little texture glitches. And, right, we'll go through it. Uh, little bits and pieces that we don't like, but generally it's not bad, is it? There's not There's not too much to complain about. I saw some people on Discord saying, oh, it's terrible What a waste of time you need to fix it. I don't I don't exactly know what some players expect I mean, it's playable It needs some tuning, that's all, surely I don't know, people's expectations are a little bit a little bit different Oh, did I go for a red then? I was looking at the chat. <laughs> I'll get a fine for that one. Right, so this is where I famously went into the uh, this building coming up at the top. Of I was looking at the Eiffel Tower over there. Uh, and ended up pranging it into this barrier, so I'll have to be careful I don't do that again. I am speeding. So, I've got to 
do this one a bit more carefully than I did. Although we did have a traffic jam here, that's my excuse. That barrier there I hit. So I'm in the wrong lane actually. I need to kind of go off there to the left a little bit. I should know this now because I've been to this bus stop several times. Because I keep starting from the same place, I've been to this bus stop quite a few times and I should know by now. Yeah, you're right, it's to do with the scale. Yeah, it's just massive, isn't it? It's massive, Mr. Water. 50,000 kilometres, and then if they do add any map DLCs in the future, then, you know, that's going to be great. I'm going to try and get over now. Oh, that was all right. That wasn't too painful. See, I'm learning the route now, you see, because I'm going to do a right here, and this is where we've got the Arc de Triomphe. So it's funny, isn't it, how you do get to learn what you're doing. It's not there, though, look. It's gone. The Arc de Triomphe is missing. Just watch. One, two, three, boom. There he goes. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all to do with the textures again, isn't it? That... I knew it was there, but it wasn't there. Oh, come on! Move! Uh, what is the rule on roundabouts in France? Do you not have right away if you're already on the roundabout? No, it's probably in the wrong lane. That was probably the issue. Yeah, definitely a buzz saw for you. Yeah, that cruise control run, yeah, that, that would be interesting, wouldn't it, to use. I, I must admit, I haven't tried switching it on. I don't think I did in Tourist Bus. I think I decided even in Tourist Bus it was a bit of a faff. So I didn't bother with it. Right, I have no idea what lane I'm meant to be in. But we'll go for it. Approaching the first uh, bus stop, first pickup point. Uh, and yesterday, um, I think it was yesterday, I was reporting that, um, well, right at the beginning of yesterday's stream actually, that I couldn't do the. Uh, it was asking me to rest, and I couldn't rest. Now, I I'm assuming then, I was driving this bus last night, and I was able to rest. So, I'm, a I'm assuming that's a problem on a per bus basis then. And I need to go down. Oh, no, I don't. That's one way. I can't go down there. I've got to go around the back. Um, yeah, so I could rest in this bus, but I couldn't rest in the one, and I forget the name of it, the smaller one. Yesterday, I couldn't do it at all. The uh, the button was greyed out. If you remember, I couldn't press it. But I did manage to do it last night. And then what I didn't do after resting, I didn't check the passengers. And I think you sent me a comment later on, Mr. Water. Look at that floating car in front. Yeah, that's nice. Let's just have a look. Is it actually floating? Nah, it's just the, the back's high, isn't it? Um, yeah, Mr. Water, you sent me a, a message to say make sure you check the passengers once you've had a rest. And I only saw that afterwards. I didn't do that, so I lost some XP, but it is what it is. You don't use a lot, do you? Yeah, mapping buttons for certain functions so you can swap it around, yeah. Is that not a thing? I've not looked at that actually. Christopher, how you doing? Good to see you again. Certain buses also leak when it rains, is that right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Randy, yeah, I didn't I didn't um I didn't do the uh, the check in, um but it won't let you confirm, will it not? Yeah, that's a problem then, isn't it? Right, we're on green. We're at the bus stop. Pretty much. 